Oh, uh, hey guys. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember, but, um, I made that game room tour video. Um, I said I'd be making, like, update videos for whenever I got a bunch of little stuff. Turns out I forgot. Okay, so we got a ton of stuff that we, uh, that I found and have done. I don't remember if I've done some videos on these or not or haven't uploaded them. But I guess we should go, it's obviously the most obvious thing, this big old TV. It's like a 32 inch TV, it's how big my hand is to it. Yeah. Um, and you know, it works. Get the TV, so I warm up. There it is. Okay. Um, I don't remember if I made a video on the Game Boy Advance SP, but we did get a charger for it. I think I might have made a video on it. But yeah, it's a working Game Boy Advance SP. I have Pokemon Fire Red in there right now. Um, yeah, cool. We have an SP. Um, I think I said there was a green N64. Yeah, I noted that. Now we got a pink third-party controller that actually works pretty well. And it looks like, uh, like, watermelon, kind of. I like the, like, the watermelon. And, yeah, it's in working condition. And it works, like, basically perfectly. Um, we got a Sega Game Gear, um, at a yard sale for, like, $5 at one point. Um, I, there's one game, it doesn't work. It has a, like, the capacitors are broken, like, every Game Gear in existence. But, um... Okay, we have a game gear that I can fix later. Um, two Wii games from some for a thrift store. You know they're not the craziest games, not the best games for the Wii, but they're Wii games. I don't have a Wii. <laughs> um, this was free. Okay, okay, I'm kind of joking. It's only the case. See, no game in there. Only the case and the safety booklet. But we got this case for free. They didn't charge us for the case at all. Which is very nice. So yeah, I have a case for when I need for when I get melee. Um this came with the 64 I got. It was my cousin's. Whoa, hold up. Um it's like a fighting game port, like an arcade fighting game port. It's okay. Uh a week ago about a week ago I got this cool, like Rem figure. It's pretty nice. It's like Rem, but Mech. She was forty dollars. Um, Atari plug and play. Just plug it in the TV and some Atari games. It's okay. Atari games are really well. They're Atari. That was like two dollars. And I guess um, this I got yesterday as recording this video, which is when I uploaded the JoJo video. Uh, Glover for the SD4. It's a game where, like, you're a glove and you're the guy to ball. $35. And it came in this plastic case with the manuals and stuff. Ah. The manuals. E. I think just from. Let's in fire. Just from this book alone, you can tell the controls are pretty crazy. Yeah, anyways, um, I might make a video on this game when I complete it. And it's the game cart. It's pretty cool. Um, I don't really think there's anything else I've missed. But in total... Oh, yeah. I paid $7 for this TV. Like, look, look on my feet for scale. But um, I think in total, all of this probably cost me... About eighty dollars. I don't remember. Found this at a yard sale for like I think it was like ten dollars or something like that. Um, and then this was five dollars. Free. Uh, technically free, so it's sixty-four technically. Um, four dollars, four dollars, thirty-five dollars, two dollars, forty dollars, thirty dollars. Um, yeah, so, uh, I don't know, I'll do the math later or something, I'll probably, like, edit it in or something, I don't know. But, 
that's for that's all the stuff that I uh bought and I haven't really done anything else with the room yet. It's basically identical. It's a big work in progress. But um yeah. I guess that's it. Uh make sure to like and subscribe, obviously. I don't think I have to say this anymore because everyone just knows that you should be doing it. You should be doing it. But, um, yeah, subscribe so you don't miss out on the epic game room updates. Okay, this is stupid. But, yeah, uh, see you guys in the next video.